Okay, welcome to the beginning of my birthday weekend vlog. Um, it is Friday afternoon right now, and the first part of my extensive self-care treat that I'm giving myself is getting my nails done. If you can see, they are a little um, grown out. It's been like six weeks, but um, they're also there though, so that's great. Okay, I'm getting my nails done now, and then right after I'm going for a facial, so I'm excited about that. So it's a little later in the day now. I've gotten my nails done. I did some fruits basket nails. I got a little cute Kyo and Yuki on one hand, and then I have a little rice ball on my other. I feel like so cute, so cute. And I actually just got out of a facial. Can you see is my skin glowing? Um, yeah, honestly, I fell asleep during it. Like I hit the bed, and then she started. She put like a cleanser and an enzyme peel or something on me. Brought out the blade for derma planning. Knocked the fuck out. But yeah, um, I'm headed back to my house now. I gotta take bagel out, and I'm um, looking to get some food, some takeout. I think I want to spend the night in. I was maybe gonna hang out with some friends, but not really sure. I ended up filming my February bullet journal set up when I got home. Good wow. evening. It's Friday night, and since I've last checked in. I haven't done very much. Um, I came home, took bagel out. I grabbed some takeout, which is what I'm eating now. Um, some rice and beans and some braised oxtail. I was kind of craving like Hispanic Dominican food from this place um, down in Providence and what a great opportunity to get some. What? Wanna say hi? Wanna say hi to my vlog? Hey dude. But me and Bagel are just sitting on the couch here, relaxing. I'm watching Sailor Moon Crystal right now. I was watching that while I was filming my um, bullet journal video that is probably already up. Laying it very low tonight, which is fine by me because your girl's tired. And yeah, I'll probably finish my book tonight actually. And then tomorrow I have some other birthday related plans with some other friends of mine who's also have the same birthday as me. I love you all so much. So much. Good morning. It's Sunday the 23rd right now. I am on my way to brunch. I am, oh look, it's me back here. I'm running a hair late, but so is everyone else, that's fine. Um, why do my bangs look like this? I spent like 20 minutes trying to get my bangs to like be cute and let me tell you, it didn't work. Yeah, yesterday was a really long day. I literally left my house at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock a.m. and didn't return until about 1 a.m. I dropped a bagel off at his grandmother's. I went to brunch. I went to lunch <laughs> and I hung out with uh, some family. And then I went to like the mall and shopping. And then I went to my friend's house that night where to celebrate other birthdays as well. So know, it was really fun. I had a really great day, but it was definitely very busy. But this is what I'm looking like today. Let me see. Nothing crazy. I'm just going comfortable. I got this little um, sweater turtleneck crop top thingy yesterday. I put this sweater right over it. I feel like this style is really trendy. I did this one a few years ago just from like a sweater I got from Walmart, but I still really do love it. And then I have some arm warmers on just for like the style, but also I guess to keep me warm. And then just some big black pants and I'm wearing black Tims with it. I really like the look today. I wanted to go a little more red, I think, or like glittery or something, but another day. I'm running late. I really gotta go. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to my birthday. Thank you for my birthday. This is my birthday twin. Cheers! Woo! Everything looks so delicious. And the potatoes are really freaking good too. Hi! 
Um, I just woke up from like a two hour nap. Your girl really needed it. <laughs> um, after brunch with the girls, I came home and immediately hopped into my bed. Um, <laughs> and I, I guess I just can't hang anymore. I don't know. But like, it's been, I don't think it's been a lot. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm very grateful to have like plans and like a busy weekend, but damn, I do just like having my own time to myself though, for real. Yesterday I was out all day. Today, as soon as I woke up, I went to brunch and I was so tired. So I came back here. Um, yeah, and I'm about to go out to dinner again tonight. And then tomorrow will hopefully be really low key and that'll be like my real personal day. And tomorrow's my actual birthday as well. So hopefully tomorrow will be a lot more relaxing and I get to do more like me stuff, like just for me. And I'm thinking tonight, I'm like debating whether or not I should do it, but I think maybe tonight will be like my first like practice stream. I don't know, I guess it's really weird. Um, I don't know why, like I finally got over that hump of like posting videos of myself on the internet, but I don't know, the live streaming thing is still like scary to me. Cause like, you know, it's that fear of like, okay, well, what if no one's watching? Granted, what if no one's watching these videos? I don't know, nothing, whatever, right? So. <laughs> So I did end up doing a quick stream that night and I did get through it, but I think it'll take some time to get used to. On the morning of my actual birthday, I snuck in a last minute car appointment and tried to get some work done while waiting. This was another stacked day. After the car appointment, I rushed over for my massage. Then I quickly made my way to Bloomingdale's and grocery shops before heading to my parents before dinner. Oh, thank you, Nathan. So I just took a shower and I'm pretty much ready for bed. It is about 10 30 right now it's been a long day um so i woke up i woke up um went to get some car maintenance done which didn't pan out because i still have to go tomorrow um i got i did get a two-hour massage today which was like one of the highlights of today i really did need it um and then i did some grocery shopping and went to my parents house for dinner and hung out with my parents blew a little cake had dinner with them and played with the baby um yeah, it was pretty low key, I guess, but it still felt very busy. I think if anything, I'm learning how much I really appreciate the little things, just like spending quality time with people that I care about. Um, so today, one of my friends asked me what was like the most important thing I learned this year, right? And I responded by saying these things, that one, time isn't something that needs to hold me back. I realized that, you know, I can still learn and do things that I've always wanted to do that I'm not like behind in life. Um, that changing your perspective and mentality from a place of like lack to a place of gratitude really makes you appreciate um, the little things like spending quality time with people you care about. And it makes you kind of like just enjoy it a little more, you know? But while I am here, I did want to show a little haul of things I've gotten. So I went to the mall with my cousins and my sister on Saturday for a little bit. And then I actually went and stopped at Bloomingdale's today. And I got some things in the mail as well. Not necessarily like as part of a birthday thing, which just because I bought stuff and they're here. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you what I got. So last year I bought myself a new lens for my camera. One that's like a prime up close lens. It's really great quality. I really like it and it was like affordable. And then this year I got myself a new tripod. Yeah, so this one I like because it has that, um, the arm that extends over so you can do an overhead shot. So for example, um, if you've watched my February bullet journal spread from last week, I did use this tripod to do the overhead shots. And now some other like fun stuff. I got some basic tank tops, just two black ones, two white ones. These are from Amazon. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not, who knows, maybe they're maybe they're good quality, maybe they're not. They, they do, to, to me, they feel a little thin. So, I mean, we'll see how I like them or not. But yeah, so that's that. And then when I went to the mall, I got 
this kind of like sweater mock neck sleeveless crop turtleneck thing from um, Zara. I also got this collared like loose fitting long sleeve shirt from Zara as well. And I've already worn both of these this weekend. At H&M, I got this cute little sweater. Yeah, with the little ruffles on it. It's definitely a little out of my comfort zone. I guess you can't really see it that well in this light, but it's kind of like that, almost like a sagey mint color. I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I tried it and I did like it and it's really soft. So that's new for me. And then the other thing I got from H&M is also a basic. It is a black turtleneck um, bodysuit. Yeah, I, per I really do love turtlenecks. So <laughs> I love wearing turtlenecks. I love laying things over turtlenecks. So more in my arsenal. And then I got a couple of things from this website called Jing. I've gotten a lot of advertisements for it. So I said like, F it, let me just see. And then this is what I got. Um, I got this skirt, definitely kind of like my style. Um, it is actually a skirt, so it is shorts underneath. I love the way it looks. My only like complaints, or like I figured this would be the case, but you know, I can. I'm still gonna talk about it. I this pocket's fake, not a real pocket. There's a string here that connects these flaps together, and I think you're supposed to cut them just because it's like a very big stitch. So I assume that's the case. But yeah. So I think it is a little um, short on me. However, because it's a skirt, that doesn't bother me as much. But that's that. And then I got just a nice pair of long black pants as well. Like they have a bit of a stretch in the back and there's pockets on them. And they're like kind of boot cut. I think they're like boot cut pants, but I feel like in my opinion, they feel a little, a little short, but I think it's just gonna kind of depend on what shoes I wear with them. And then I got two tops, this one, I really like, they both have big sleeves. This one has big sleeves and a big collar on it. Obsessed. Um, this one was actually one size and I gambled obviously by buying it. And I, I really do like it. I think it is a bit, it's either a long crop top or a short shirt. So I think it's kind of a, if you put on like high waisted jeans, it would just barely cover it. Pretty much the same thing goes with this top, which I really like as well. I like, I like the sweater quality of both of them. I feel like they're not too thin, but yeah. Also has a bit of a big sleeve, but I do like this one. So this one is like a more of a cream color because the other one was black and white, but yeah, that's that. And then at Bloomingdale's today, I got myself a new winter coat because the one I have is a little too big on me as well as, um, you know, it's just kind of worn out. I've had it for a few years, but I did get this one today and I absolutely love it. Um, the hood's really big, which I like. You can take like the fur off if you want. It's um, like fleece on the inside and there's like a little collar as well. I like that there's like, it has like the sleeve and it feels much warmer than the coat I'm using now. So I'm happy that I can get rid of it and start using this one because I've been looking for a new winter coat and I found one today. So very happy about that. And then the last thing I got was this purse. I also got this from Bloomingdale's and I love that it's like, it has like that shopping bag look to it. But yeah, I really like it. Um, I will say, I, it's definitely a little bit out of my comfort zone. It's white and it has like, you know, that snake alligator skin like design on it. And when you open it, it there's, I, I do like that there's a lot of like shape to it. Um, the inside, it is pretty spacious, but it's there's not too many pockets or anything. There's one little like folder pocket, which I think would be good to put like my, uh, my card holder wallet in. And it also does come with a strap here so you can make it um, like, a crossbody. I definitely don't have any bags like this. And also it's big enough to fit a water bottle. I'm really happy with my purchases. So I guess this has been my birthday weekend. Um, thank you so very much for joining me and celebrating my birthday with me. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.